To aliens, they are looking for something in the garbage. From the parts found, extracted a special liquid. Down the conduit into the container, the liquid seems to have life. Begin to jump up. A drop of valuable liquid collection success. They are creatures from extraterrestrials, lost in space, unintentionally intruded into the Earth, unable to return to their planet, but only stayed on Earth to live. Humans have set up a quarantine zone for them. Call Zone 9. One day, a construction team came and tried to force them to move out. When Jake searched the house, he accidentally found the tank of liquid they extracted. Jake accidentally unscrewed it, and the liquid sprayed all over his face. Suddenly he was in a bad way. He started to vomit for no apparent reason. Black liquid would come out of his nose even when he ate. His fingernails started to fall off. And worse still, he would vomit black liquid for no apparent reason. Jake was rushed to the hospital, and when the gauze on his arm was cut open, when the gauze was cut off his arm, he was baffled. Looking at his mutated hand, he could couldn't sit still. He was packed away in a plastic bag by a group of heavily armed soldiers. Jake was taken to a lab. When he opened his eyes, he was already strapped to an operating table like a mummy and the mystery liquid container was found. He was sterilized and wheeled into the operating room, where the doctor pulled out a power drill. He had fused perfectly with the alien arm and the alien weapon that humans have never been able to use. He was able to handle with ease. He became a half-human, half-alien monster. And after some deliberation, the scientists decided to dismantle it for research. Jake broke free and hijacked a doctor when he was about to do it and ran away. He ran wildly, picking up garbage and eating it. He was so hungry, he couldn't hold out any longer. So he went into a fast food restaurant. He's now wanted all over the country. He can only take food. Now the only place he can find refuge is District 9. It's inhabited by one, five million aliens. He queues up with the aliens at the cafeteria. But the cafeteria only sells raw meat to the aliens. After some discussion with the cafeteria owner, he only needs a few cans of cat food. While eating, he accidentally pinched his teeth. And when he took them out, they turned out to be his to front teeth. Jake knew that he was mutating step by step towards the aliens. Picked up an axe and went to the bushes. Looked at his lobster arm and chopped the axe on the shrimp pincers. The pain made Jake tear his heart out. At this time, the army also began to search for District 9. Down scenes of helicopters circled overhead. Jake took the opportunity to hide in a broken house, but accidentally ran into the aliens from before. He also found a hidden alien ship underneath the room, which turned out to be the alien's technical engineer. The liquid that Jake was mistakenly sprayed with was the fuel they needed to start the mothership, and the aliens promised to cure Jake if he could bring back the container. Jake and the two of them broke straight into the lab building and unlocked a door. Through the employees at fingerprints, the aliens were stunned to see their own kind being treated so cruelly. Jake quickly found the container. The aliens saw the soldiers rushing in and created an alien bomb with their bare hands, which blew the wall right off the building. They made it back to the shack through the gunfire without incident. Jake told the alien to hurry up and start the ship. The alien thought of the cruel treatment of his own kind. During the experiment, he decided to go back to his home planet to get out first, and the treatment of Jake would not be possible until three years later. When Jake hears this, he's lying to him. Jake knocked the alien out with a shovel. He entered the ship and inserted the fuel rods. He Saturday down in the cockpit and stuck his shrimp pincers into the control fluid. The roof of the ship instantly began to shake, and a dilapidated alien ship broke out of the ground. At this point, the captain gave the order to attack. Several missiles were fired. One of the ship's engines was hit and the ship began to shake as it lost power. No matter what Jake does, he can't pull the ship up and it crashes into the ground. It's over. The ship is severely damaged. Jake was also arrested by the soldiers and taken to an armored car. A group of robbers rushed out and a rocket-propelled grenade launcher was destroyed. Jake was taken by the bandits in the melee and brought to the boss of Sector 9. The boss believes that by eating Jake's hand, he can also gain the ability to use alien weapons. As he was about to do it, the alien and the ship repaired the ship's system and the connection with the mothership was restored to normal, and the alien mechs were activated. At the same time, the mechs started to recognize the target. The others reacted at the same time and attacked the mech together, but all the bullets were gathered together, and with a wave of the robot's hand, the crowd was instantly annihilated, and the cockpit opened up with the soldiers about to rush in. Jake had to sit in the cockpit, and after connecting to the mech, he broke through the house and came outside. The soldiers looked at the mech in front of them and quickly fired at him, but the bullets couldn't penetrate Jake. Jake used his laser to destroy several soldiers and protected the aliens all the way to the mothership. They managed to avoid all the bullets by maneuvering around, and when they were about to reach the mothership, the mech was hit and fell to the ground. Jake tells the aliens to run first, and he holds off the enemy. When an armed vehicle crashes into them, Jake started to counterattack. After a frantic output, a piglet was also thrown out innocently. The last volley of tracking missiles are fired, and the other team is destroyed. The captain grabbed a bazooka, but Jake caught it with his empty hand, and his left arm was blown off instantly. Jake climbed out of the mech with serious injuries. His mutation has gotten worse. The captain raised his gun 
and was about to finish him off when a group of aliens arrived. They have accepted the mutated Jake. The captain attacked first. A group of aliens rushed forward. The captain was instantly torn apart. Jake becomes a member of the aliens. And the alien mothership successfully ascends to the sky. Thus ending the movie. Although the movie District 9 is a small budget movie, the special effects still make the feeling of a blockbuster. The contrast between the aliens and the brutal earthlings is stark and adds more elements to the movie. Overall, this movie is still quite watchable.